Hey. Hey. Okay. Hey. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Scotty Show. Tonight we're gonna be reacting to Freedom by Ricky Chicks and Laker. Um, man, we already did the, we already did some shit through reactions this week, and then, what do you know, we get a Ricky Chicks and Laker collab, I think literally one of the two up and coming artists out of Shed Theory, um, Laker already said he's one of my favorite out of Shed Theory, Ricky Chicks just has that aura about him, um, overall, like, just like a dope artist, I like the way that he, um, puts like his stuff together on songs, Laker, Got the dopest name, got one of the dopest styles, um, has some of the best music out of Shed Theory as well. <clears throat> um, and I even think, uh, I got AC up there too with Laker, I might even go cap. I think I think AC might be number two out of my favorite Shed Theory members. Um, that's not really like popular like that, you know what I'm saying? Um, Ricky Chicks... Like, he just has, like, that aura about him, just like Woody, you know what I'm saying? Him and Woody got, like, that, got, like, that vampire, like, aura type shit going, bro. Like, like, mayhem, like, aura. Like, he got, like, the leather pants on with the leather jacket, you know what I'm saying? No shirt type shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, like, that aura that, like, he has about him. Um, that screams superstar, it screams artist, it's, it's just a lot, you know what I'm saying? But we're gonna get into this, man. This is the Scotty Show. Please like, share, subscribe. Let's get into this. First song we're going to uh, react to is Flags. Let's get it. Flags in the world, let me see stand up. Flags in the world, let me see stand up. Me and Rick and G in the hills of the When I'm out, I'm gonna let my birds away. Chicks like pretty, and we hold a high rank. Yeah, we hold a high rank. Yeah, we hold a high rank. I don't fuck with a party, all the bitches look sick. I'm blowing wings on it, and the perks are on the way. I like how I can dig like determine like uh who's Ricky and who's Laker. Like Ricky just has like that uh, like he enunciates like his words longer and then Ricky is like more like short and concise. And like uh I like how I can like just off the rip like just tell like the difference between like their voices ricky is more melodic with it lakers lakers wavy but he's also short and straight to the point with his bars in my opinion <laughs> Banger out the gate, bro. Fire ass beat, fire ass song. And like, like I said, I like how Ricky Chicks just like he elongates like the words and like he's um more like melodic with it. And Ricky Chicks, he's just wavy, bro. He just swaggy with this shit. He real he real swaggy with like the with the bars and stuff. And like how he like does like his delivery with it. Uh next song we're gonna get to is ass clappers. Let's get it. that's crazy. Ass clappers. Money and sex is what Jug Corporation is all about. This that real jug music. Hey, shout out to the Ying Yang Twin sample. That's fire. Yeah, we fucked in the club, 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 yeah
and clap. I'm a superstar, bitch, I'm a rockstar. Getting fucked in the club, I'm not getting fucked. I just walked out and the demon is gone. I'm not getting fucked, bitch, I'm a stand Getting fucked in the club, I'm not getting fucked. I got a question, bro. Do it be girls at the at the at the Shed Theory concerts? Cause if this, hey, they cannot do this song. They cannot do this song if it's just niggas at the at the show. <laughs> hey, cause if they do, it's just gonna be niggas twerking. That's crazy. That's real crazy. They they need to. Uh, I don't know how the women fan base is for for Shed Theory. I know they probably got like you know groupie followers, but I don't know how big the. Fee let me know in the comments section how big is the female following for Shed Theory? Because if they do this song, it's gonna be niggas shaking ass at the show. Plug feature Woody, let's get it. This is what I'm talking about, Woody. This is what this is the shit that you need to be on right here. Hold up, hold up. Let's keep it going. Oh man, double O D O I got a Roxy. Bad ass bitch, shut up. Shit, uh, give me fucking face if you wanna come up. Shit, I'm a real big dog, I'm a stunner. Shit, I'm throwing real big rocks cause I wanna. Shit, yeah, I'm a fucking goat, he don't wanna be. Shit, I'm stepping on the throat just like a god be. Shit, I big ass rims on a hummer. Uh, since the jit, baby, I be what I wanna. Uh, I just put her I just put a part, yeah. I'm cursed, yeah. I just put a part, yeah. She's saying the worst, yeah. Yeah, I don't know these bars, I'm a bar tart Martian. I don't even understand why you be asking questions. I be riding horses, I don't give a fuck, man. Yeah, we got a V8, we at the speedway. I don't give a fuck, bitch, you be talking D way. I just fucked a lonely bitch, I just fucked a lonely bitch, I just fucked up. Hey, yo, one thing I like about Woody's verse on here is that, like, he didn't go, like, full-on lisp with it. Because I seen the comment section, they said, like, when he goes full lisp, that nigga be, like, you know, kind of tweaking out on the songs. But, like, I like how, like, you know, he's, it's more controlled. It feels more controlled now hearing it. And, like, this is where I think that Woody is literally going to shine more as an artist. Once he gets more control of that shit and doesn't, like, play into it, because... I think sometimes it, it will hold back a lot of, like, the way that he writes his music, you know? And I think that, um, 
Woody just should just it, it should just be controlled in a way. And I think that, like I said, Woody and Ricky Chicks have like that aura about them that they look like superstars, you know? It's just something, you just look at someone like Ricky and you're like, this guy's a superstar. And then you look at someone like Woody and you're like, this guy looks like a fucking superstar. So like, I think that they both have um, the ability to become superstars and just become fucking huge. I, like just like Joey in a way in my opinion it's just figuring out um one thing this is what I feel does Ricky Chicks take his writing seriously is he actually writing or is he just freestyling in, in the booth which that's okay he can do that but I feel like if he took his writing more seriously he can make amazing music same with Woody if Woody took his writing seriously which I don't know what they're doing with their writing or, or, or their recording processes me per me personally I fuck with, like, the freestyling and shit. I fuck with, you know, being able to just freestyle in the booth. But when you can write a song and then, like, have it sound really good, it's it's perfect, you know? Um, I think writing a song takes you to a more of a higher level than, um, than anything. I remember uh, when I did my song with Braxton Knight, Wintertime Heartbreak, you know? Shout out Braxton Knight. I freestyled my shit, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't feel like it... When I, when I freestyled that shit and sent him the verse, I didn't think that it was, like, the best of its abilities. You know what I'm saying? When I worked with Young Gravy on oh, She Fell In Love With My Uzi, when I made She Fell In Love With My Uzi, uh, I wrote every single... I wrote that shit. And Young Gravy wanted to hop on it and, and make a, put a verse on it. And that happened. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Wintertime, Wintertime. I wrote, uh, I, don't, uh, I Don't Fuck With You. You know, I wrote that. I wrote all that out. You know, and he hopped on the song. You know? Shout out wintertime. Um, but I feel like when I write, me per but I, I love the aspect of just hopping in the booth and freestyling and getting that shit out the way and over with. It's, it's an easy, quicker way. Obviously, there there are times where you're going to like punch in and stuff like that because you're going to fuck up. But I think writing is better. Me personally, I feel like writing is better than freestyling. Freestyling is cool, but I feel like there's like a certain level of writing that you need to like hit. To, to be able to freestyle like an elite writer. You know what I'm saying? Because you can just hop on a beat and just say whatever. But, you know, the, the song may not hit as hard as you as, as hard as hard you want to. Um, I, I think, I like I said, I don't know how serious Ricky Chicks or... Or Laker or Woody take like their writing. And I think that if Woody took his writing more serious, I think if Laker took his writing more serious, it would elevate them to, to, to superstar them in my opinion. Let's keep it going. Next time we'll get into this duffel bag, so let's get it. Yeah, when I walk up to the shit, I got it all. Huh? I ain't scrub from here, then I got it all. Huh? Yeah, I'm with your bitch, and now she better take it all off. When I'm at the club, I don't take my shades off. When we get this party started, it gon' never stop. Yeah. It gon' never stop Damn, the bitches car is closed Yeah, this shit don't ever stop Write this shit down by the duffel bag I can name a hundred people go inside I said, write this shit down by the duffel bag Cause I don't wanna see you by the hundred bands I was in the striker like I was in a truck I was at the club throwing hell ones uh, What you wanna say to me, little boy? Yeah, I would love to hear a thousand band Fonny work with uh, Shed Theory. I feel like that would be fire. Because even even uh, thousand band, like, he got a song, he dropped it in like 
2015, 2016. Little bitch, I'm just nodding. <laughs> he said, little bitch, think I'm agreeing with her. Little bitch, I'm nodding. I'm nodding off. Like, like nodding. Like, like he was even saying nod, like, before, like, like, shed theory and shit. So, I think that it would be just a perfect collab. You know what I'm saying? Even, even Thousand Bad Fonny was, like, like, doing, like, the nod. Like, like, even though it wasn't, like, their kind of style. But, like, it was just nod. You know what I'm saying? He, he like... Had like that idea as well in his ma in his mind, like not like not like how they're doing, like not theory, but like just not in general. To the next song, Live Free or Die. Let's get it. Fine. Make this dirty dance, break a little pill, then I put it in my hand I was in LA, then I flew out to the land Bitch, I'm out of work, I don't fuck with Zans Real party talk, bitch, I'm a fucking fraud Bitch, I'm with my brothers, I'm with my fucking heart Who a little bitch, take that out, bye-bye I'm gonna get my brain lit free or die First line of fucker, I'm gonna get it from my brother Low white, low low key. Oh, hey, why would this be a perfect song for Cemetery to get on? This is fucking crazy. If Cemetery and all these niggas was cool, this would be a crazy song for for Cemetery to hop on and do a do a remix to. Oh my god! Hey, if he did a remix to this, it would break the internet. No cap. No cap. Crazy song for Cemetery to hop on. Yo, yo, Shed Theory and Haunted Mountain, y'all need to settle y'all differences, bro, and make some fire music together, bro. I don't know what the fuck y'all... I don't... Bro. Imagine Ricky Chicks in a Haunted Mountain polo and, and Laker. That would be fucking insane. <laughs> like, that shit's never gonna happen, but that would be so crazy to see. And, like, all them just fucking with each other and shit, like... What could have, what could have been, man? What could have been? All like, all we could think about is what could have been. Uh, cheers to what could have been. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Cheers to what could have been. Um, I definitely think that that's a song that if if I was Ricky Chicks and Laker, man, I would definitely put some material on on a feature for that. In my opinion, I would be like, yo, fuck this shit, dog. Let's just work, nigga. Like, cemetery, bro. Me personally, if I felt that that anybody in Shed Theory was racist or anything like that, I would listen to these niggas. 
I've kind of I've been doing like my research on these niggas. I've I've researched Sam Hyde and shit like that. Yeah, he got a uh you know edgy sense of humor and stuff like that. But being a stand up comedian myself, like you're you're around, you know, and I don't like wanna like even black black comedians, black American comedians, like we make fun of white people, and and white comedians make fun of black black people. You know what I'm saying? It's it's vice versa. You know what I'm saying? It goes hand in hand. And like um now there's a difference between making fun of a making fun of a race and, and, and being racist. You know what I'm saying? Like I've had white comedians walk up to me and ask me, like, hey, do you think that this is racist? You think this is a good joke? I tell them it's not it don't matter what I think. Say that joke on the fucking stage and see what the crowd, you know, think. You know what I'm saying? I can't like because I have to look. What, what if the joke is racist and and you go up there and say it, it, it and and you get my green light? You know what I'm saying? I I say leave me out of it. You know what I'm saying? Just go up there and say the joke. You can tell me the joke how many times you ever want to, in any kind of way you want to tell me it, but however the public receives it, that's how they receive it. I can't tell you what's what's racist and what's not racist. I don't fucking know. You know what I'm saying? I know to a certain extent, I know when so, when things are feeling racist or, or when something sounds racist, you know what I'm saying? Even white people, you know, can feel like they're being discriminated against or like feel racism towards them, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know, it's just, it's just, it's just, uh, it's a touchy subject when it comes to like stand-up comedy or just comedy or, or anything where you're dealing with someone that is edgy. Bless me. <laughs> but uh, we gonna keep us going, man. I got. I got Rick. I got bitches. I got Rick. I got switches. I got blocks. I got F and N's and Tommy's all colors. I got grapes and I got guns. I got dogs and I got buns. On the moon and she the sun. Little bitch. Where the ones at? Where the ones at? Let me see a hundred ones flying down on bitches' asses. Let me see the whole earth shake from the bitches' ass quake. I'ma fucking shoot shit. I'ma fucking take a break. I'ma make it dance. I'ma make it dance. Throwing up a hundred thousand. I'ma make it dance. Yeah, I got the bands. I just took a zan. I be popping burgers as in all these foreign lands. I don't ever stop. Ricky got the drop. I'm a sick dog, and my bitch like wow, and my bitch, and my bitch, I'm a, I'm a throw fit, I just walked up in this bitch, got a hundred round stick, like wow, now you wanna be all of my shit, now you wanna be all of my shit, now you wanna hang with my crew, but you ain't even fucking shit, now you ain't even fucking shit, fuck you, what the fuck you said, fuck you, what the fuck you said, fuck you, what the fuck you said, y'all, freedom in my bitch. And I got guns, I got dogs and I got buns I'm the moon and she the sun, little bitch Where the ones at? Where the ones at? Let me see a hundred ones flying down on bitches' asses Let me see the whole earth shake from the bitches' ass quake I'ma fucking shoot shit, I'ma fucking take a break
Dude, where the fuck was Joey's part at, bro? Maybe I was sneezing too much, bro. Bro, my allergies been kicking my ass, bro. Like, it's, it's spring and summertime and shit. Allergies just fucking beating the shit out of me right now. But, um, yeah, back to the subject of, like, uh, thinking chat theory is, like, racist or all right people. Like, I don't, like... I don't think that, and number one, I don't need other people to be offended for me, you know what I'm saying, like, nigga, if you never, if you, if, like, I sound like talking about my personal life, but, if you, if you don't know, if you, if you never, like, you don't think that I would smack a nigga, like a white person for saying nigga in front of me, and it's not even about the word, it's just about the respect aspect of it, you know what I'm saying, like, you, you, you don't ever think that I ever did that before? <laughs> like, be real. You, know, you don't think I ever, you, know, you don't think I ever made it, made it, made a motherfucker apologize and not even have to put hands on him? Just, just the brute, you know, just me just being there and, and, and scaring the living shit out of a motherfucker for even thinking that they could say some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like... Come on, bro. Like, if I felt that these niggas was racist, bro, I wouldn't even give them a time of day or even react to their music. These niggas ain't racist. They just edgy-ass motherfucking... They just edgy-ass motherfuckers that fuck with other edgy-ass motherfuckers, bro. I don't think that Sam High is a racist. If Sam High was racist, he wouldn't fuck with Christ Dillinger. Racist people don't fuck with... But like, real racists don't fuck with... Don't fuck with other racists. They call them race traitors. You know what I'm saying? They just have a different sense of humor of people that are more uh, soft-hearted with their humor. You know what I'm saying? Just like how there's 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 black comedians that go crazy on white people and make fun of them. There, there's white comedians that make fun of black people and how they talk and how they be acting. You know what I'm saying? And people got to stop being offended for other people because I'm going to let you know this right now. There's... As, a, as me, I don't need y'all help to be offended for me. I'm going to hold my own. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got to stand on my own ten toes at the end of the day. I don't expect nobody to stand on stand on shit for me at the end of the day. So y'all need to just let that shit go. Y'all need to let that shit go. A lot of y'all motherfuckers, bro. Unless it's real, like, you got video footage of these niggas saying the hard R or any of that shit. Like, let that shit go. Let it go. Bro, I literally seen a nigga where, uh, and when I say nigga, I mean a black person. I'm black. I've seen motherfuckers wear the, uh, the, 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 the Twin Towers, like, collapsing, like, you know, on our level. Like, it was, like, some, it was some crazy drip. I ain't even gonna cap, but it was, like, a shirt with, like, the like the Twin Towers, you know, collapsing and shit. Shit crazy. It was, like, it was some crazy drip, you know what I'm saying? And, like, that's that's a cra- that's crazy to wear to me. You know what I'm saying? That could be, because, I, I, like, I love America. And I could be, like, nigga, you crazy. Like, that's America, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I could be like, nigga, you need to be packed out for that. But then again, maybe I thought that shit was funny. At the end of the day. What am I going to do? Get mad? That some buildings collapsed that possibly was a conspiracy with, with the elites and shit like that, my nigga? You know what I'm saying? Because some rich niggas wanted some money? Like... It's, 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 we will get the collabs that we wanted if, if a lot of motherfuckers just stop believing in these ideals that are created by people that are actually racist, in my opinion, in my opinion, people that believe that, that, uh, that people of other colors are lesser than and they need the help of other motherfuckers, bro. This is a deep conversation right here. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, those motherfuckers, they look down on other people of other colors that create these ideals of, oh, we need to save these people. Oh, we need to protect these people. 
Bitch, I don't need your protection. Leave me the fuck alone. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. But, like, shout out Shed Theory. Shout out, shout out Hunter Mouse. Shout out everybody. My point, my point is, is that, like, everybody just need to, uh, you know, they need to fuck with each other, bro. We need the collabs. We, we, the the underground community the underground community deserves the collabs that they deserve, and we deserve a haunted mound. It's shed theory collab. That's what I think. But let me know what y'all think in the comment section. This is Scotty Show. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank y'all. Peace out. Hey. Okay. Hey. 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 Okay.